It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. We're at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Look, it's a small lead, let's face it, but it's a lead, and that's where you want to be. You want to be out front. And so this player has been playing well all week long, but in saying that, they just don't want to make any mistakes. It's going to be a difficult day all around. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. It's just about three feet away. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Absolutely. Love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. We've arrived at a par four hole. That's some good golf right there. Second shot on the second. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Left yourself an opportunity. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Just didn't drop. Just three feet to the cup. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. John, do you have any info down there? Down here on the third hole. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Let's head out to the sixth hole. Now just one over par. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Putting for eagle here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Well, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. That is definitely a confidence builder. He sits in first position. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Teeing off here at the fourth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. Birdie at the last. This for another. Oh, 
Oh, this looks pure. Well, what a start. This is impressive. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Leading by three strokes now. Teeing off here at the fifth. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Well, they're obviously playing to a game plan here because I remember they were hit in from this similar spot yesterday. Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. And he's safely on the green with that shot. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, from where I am, it looks around 27 feet, I'd say. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Sitting at minus eight for the tournament. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. And after that part, they're looking for something good here. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. And let's take a look at this shot from just a moment ago. One of the stars of the game, Bryson DeChambeau. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Let's return to live play now. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Going with the nine iron, I think. Should find the green here. Good shot there. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. This one looks like it will safely make the green. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. but just five feet away from the hole. Solid par putt, that. Now four shots up after that hole. Reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Out a boy. Good shot. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Nicely done. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, that's frustrating. Putting for par. It's on a great line. 
And there it is. Let's head over to the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. That's <laughs> heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Choosing the 9-iron here. Yeah, that one's looking good. But not a bad approach. Going to be putting. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, fellas, I'm on the 18th hole. This is Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, 13-footer coming up here. This one's online. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Yes, but if they start thinking about it, that's where the danger happens. They have to keep their head down and keep playing on the front foot if they want to see this thing home. That should find the fairway. And inside the red zone, around 110 yards to go. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. I shot that. That should find the surface. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. It's got a chance. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. He's currently sitting in first place. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Going with the eight iron here. Wonderfully played. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down on the 14th hole, and this is a look at Gary Woodland. OK, let's get back to the action. This one's for Birdie. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. OK, steady now. Just a four-footer remaining. It's half a chance of being hold, this one. That's well hold. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Going with the five wood. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, just missed. Big putt for Parry coming up. Yeah, good putt. Well hold.
this took place just a short time ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. From around 220 yards. Straight down wind. Tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Going with a three wood here. This one needs to kick left. And here we are with the third shot. Almost went down. John, have you got a read on this one? Well, he's looking at a 25 foot putt from my estimates. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And it's time to recap that play. Leading by six strokes after that one. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. <laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. From around 180 yards out. This one needs to find a patch of gravity in a hurry. That's not the outcome they're after. What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Whew. Well, you've just got to look with admiration. That shot took some serious skill. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. John! Talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm down here on the 17th hole, and this is a look at Gary Woodland. Even for the day. Currently tied for 10th place. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. We have a par five on this one. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Well, I don't know about you, Rich, but I love this 15th hole at TPC at Scottsdale. Everyone's already focused on getting into the stadium hole. But this one here, wow, what a shot you got in front of you. I'm laying up eight days a week and hitting wedge in there close for my third, Luke. No chance I'm taking on this second shot. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. That's a great putt, and an eagle as well. well. Nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. shot from our leader. Oh, this will be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Is that a good line? Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for power. And down it goes.
Let's head over to the 17th. Getting ready to play their third. Wow. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well played, mate. All right, John. How's his putt looking? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. And it certainly makes putting easier, doesn't it? Currently 15 under par for the event. And a chance to ice the tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. Well, this should find the short grass. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. Top drawer that tee shot, at least compared to yesterday. Let's take a look and see what happens next. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. Well, that's a great tournament to win. The race management for the Tsai Pan Rich and all on Super Bowl Sunday. All the fans this week have been out there supportive of the tournament. They've been out here in record numbers. And the champion, well, they finally get to enjoy the fest interviews as well. Great play in this week. Great win. Sometimes you've just got to stand and applaud. That was a performance for the ages. It's just one of these wins where you just want to sit back and just soak it all in and enjoy it. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.